Okay, Resident Evil 4, the two paths and the two bad guys. Alright. Here's where we're going. We don't have a lot of money here. I don't seem to be able to control my money very well in this game, but it doesn't really matter. We're gonna go ahead and do a little trading here real quick. Nothing important. Get rid of a couple things. It's TM I can never really use this TMP. I don't like it. I hate the way it chews through ammunition. I even um, at one level pumped that thing up so damn high it was all the way to its limit. It still was a piece of junk. Well, for me anyway. Okay, we're gonna fight both the main bad guys here. Well, it doesn't sound quite right, but the um, the main bad guy we're gonna hit him in a little while. We're gonna go to the left here, and we're gonna just smash our way through this and make it look really easy for you. We're going to do this with basic weapons, nothing fancy, just level 1 pro, of course. And here they are shouting at me again. They don't even really speak um, proper Spanish. Okay. This pistol right here really is kind of a lot of fun. There's a red 9. Alright, some more bad guys coming here. Wait, follow me. Okay, we're gonna put our girl here in this dustbin, have her hide for a while. Okay, everybody, these chainsaw ladies, they're not so tough. Just gotta know how to fight them. Okay, where's that jerk? Oh, there he is. There he goes. Okay, I played this a little while back and posted the game. But I was up on, I think, level 6 or 7, so I had a heck of a lot of money, several hundred thousand, and I actually could have bought the um, machine gun. That thing's cheating. It's too easy with that. How can you lose? Okay, that got him. So somebody else walking around down there. Okay, here we go. Where is she? Oh, it's a guy. There he is. Oh, joy. Let's get a little distance. Okay, that got her. The old, uh, cabbage head over here, we'll get him with a rifle. Uglier than sin. I don't like shooting women either, it's horrible. One has to remember this is just a game, Jim. A horrible game. All these Resident Evil games are kind of grisly. Okay, here we go. We're going to fight these two chainsaw girls. They go out here and use the knife on both of them. Yeah, like hell. Get the hell out of here, what we're gonna do. And these guys can all just eat. <laughs> Bite me. Okay. Go over here and we're gonna slug it out with them. I've noticed a lot of people in first stage and even here, they run around too much. You put these clowns too many angles on you. You gotta funnel them toward you where they can do nothing but take shots and I can't get around. There's some nut throwing things at me too up there. I don't have time for him just yet. Okay, this was a mistake. I shouldn't do this. The reason I shouldn't have thrown that grenade is it blows up the red herb over here to my left. I go looking for it later and it's just a big black spot. Terrible. And 
these gals are pretty tough. I think I made the mistake of missing a couple jewels here and there too for the mask and for the beer stein. I don't know where I missed them at. Oh well. Okay. That's a mistake. <laughs> here she comes. Well, I got one of them. The evil twins. I had the opportunity to actually buy one of these pistols a long time ago, but I didn't do it. And, oh, what a mistake I should have. I have a Luger, but I don't have one of those. and there's the red herb. Oh my. At this level, every little bit counts. That, that kind of hurts blowing that up. I'll never do that again. Hmm. Okay, there's a bad guy over there. I think I'll just blast him with a rifle. Okay, we're gonna jump down here and collect whatever there is to collect. There's still a whole bunch of bad guys over here to the left. We haven't uh, got around to them yet. <clears throat> yes, yeah, see beer stein? I only got one of the um, guys for it. This is terrible. I didn't, haven't gotten anything for it. I must have missed a crystal someplace. And the last time I was in here, I went downstairs and missed a hand grenade down there. Thank God. Okay, over here now. There we go. This place is just cheery as heck. Blood all over the place. Okay, now with all these clods over here, off to the right now, I'm not going to um, stand up and fight them or uh, go out here and throw grenades at them and have them overwhelm me. I'm going to draw them. Oh, look at all those guys. That's a lot of people. And I'm going to draw them over here and uh, funnel them behind this door. I'd actually thought about jumping down the rabbit hole over there this <laughs> behind me fighting them from there, but I just don't think that's a good idea. Let me try it sometime, but right now I'm going to fight them from right here. Okay. Here they are. Aha. Come on, you clods. This guy got inside the door. Look at that. And the door is coming apart. I love it. Well, I don't have to worry about ventilation. <laughs> well, there went the door. shoot her in the head, I don't know, I kind of sometimes wonder by shooting them in the head, they don't sprout those 
cabbage heads, man. So I don't know if it really makes a difference, but yeah. Okay, let's go get Ashley here and uh, got a little ways to go here. But the next level is ridiculously easy. Easy, easy. The um, the big giant guy, he's uh, he's easy to kill. Wait, follow me. Okay, here we go. My wife just bought a Wii U machine. She's over here struggling with this beast right now. It looks like a pretty cool machine. Check it out. Okay, we'll go clean this place out. Wait. Hey, what's this? Oh, cool. There's a bad guy down here still. Look at that. I wonder why she didn't join the rest of the troop. That's interesting. Yeah, I got her. Let me take a fast look around. Deep game, lots to see. Wait. You know, I found that by leaving Ashley sli slightly behind you, when you're using this knife, I actually sniped her one time by swinging at the barrels. Hmm. And so, learning from that mistake, I never do it. Never did it again. I always make sure she's away from me when I open stuff up. I have a piddling 65,000 piastres, or whatever you want to call them. But we're not going to go through here. Followed. Okay, we haven't taken a hit yet. Pretty good. Well, oh, lucky too. Fight El Gigante. Somebody may point out to me where I missed the crystals for the mask. I think I missed one crystal for the mask and one or two crystals for that beer stein. I don't know where the hell I missed them at. Okay. I just bought this lovely rocket launcher and that's what I'm going to use. On the uh, big guy. Wait. Trying to kill that guy with normal weapons it just takes too long. He hits you, and sometimes like, you can get away with um, with killing him without taking any damage, but it's not easy to do. So I prefer to just simply blast him. Okay, here we go. Remember the infamous rock who falls on Ashley, she loses her wig. And that's the end of that big jerk. Good. Okay, we'll get half of it back right now. As soon as I rearrange this pistol. Wait. And we'll open the door up here and go clean this little place out. Follow me. Wait. There's this TMPM or just I don't know. I can't get behind the weapon. Watch the guy shooting at that um, El Gigante guy with he wasted what about 200 rounds on him. It was amazing. And he still wasn't dead, of course. And I bought this um, Red 9 for about 4,000 by earning the um, medallions to get the, um, the Punisher pistol. 
and then loading it to uh, 10 shots and then selling it for $10,000. And this uh, red 9 is only 14 thou, so I think it was a good trade. It's much more powerful than the Punisher, much more powerful. And it can be pumped up to become a real monster pistol. Follow me. Okay, there's really nothing here. Rock on my head, shoot it, no thanks. Okay, I do believe we're off here. Okay, there's a few cuts here Wait. where I simply go through the game to get to the next level. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, going down the ski lift over there, or whatever you want to call it, the chair lift, simply use the scope rifle and shoot the guys off the um, uh, off the off the lifts pretty easily. One shot will knock all three of them off. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Come back. See, I seem to have missed some stuff here. I should have all three of those, I believe. Oh well. And this uh, doesn't combine with that. <laughs> oh well. They died. Okay. There's really nothing back here. Sometimes there is on the easy level, but on the pro level, hardly ever. I think it was Chaos Rush, or one of those guys was playing this game, I think it was him. He did really well at it. He was in tough shape here, but he had a lot of money. Yeah, yeah wow. <laughs> and he cruised through pretty good. He got a little damaged and hurt here and there, but he's very, very good at this. I'm doing my best. Haven't played in a while. But, um, yeah, here's a little bit of rifle ammo. I'm going to go ahead and sell this rifle here pretty soon, believe it or not. It's not just yet, of course. But soon. Okay, we're in here with the Maniac. And I sold the rifle. I bought a, um, a rifle butt for the pistol and attached it to this, um, this red 9 pistol, and I'm going to use it on this guy here. No shotgun, um, no MP, because it'll just, just shoot it all day, and I'm going to fight him from up here. It takes a little time. Um, but it'll get done. It's got some sort of a weird message on my recording here, kind of distracting me. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, <coughs> we're just going to use the uh, pistol on this guy here. One thing about the Red 9, when you trade the Punisher in for it, you, you um, get $10,000 for the Punisher, and um, buy this for 14 you're buying a really superior weapon for 4000 bucks. It's quite a trade. It really is quite a trade. In the last the last episode that I played, which was on level 6, I think, I had the Punisher, and I had it pushed all the way up to its maximum level, and it still was not that damn effective. I don't know how much it costs to push it all the way up to, you know, to its limit. This is a much better pistol. You push this thing up to its limits, to its limits, and it's very effective. It'll just chop stuff right down. And it sounds better than the other pistols. Uh oh, hurry up, uh, run! <laughs> Slight delay there, almost got hit. Real. Back to the pistol. Okay, I bought a rocket launcher a little while ago. And 
um, that's before I went down here to fight this guy. I'm going to use that on his, on his final incarnation when he's swinging around like a Tarzan through the trees. With the machine gun, you can just cut them to smithereens real quick. Um, <laughs> and, uh, with these weapons, it's a little more difficult. I keep thinking about using a shotgun, but then I decide, nah. I don't even have that much ammunition for the dang thing. Ah, got him. Finally split him in two. Yuck. That is grotesque. Okay. Now I tried to shoot him here, and there's a split second delay between me pulling the trigger and him hitting me. Oh no, rat fink. See, look at that. Damn it. Okay, well, that's the first time I've been hit so far. I'll make him pay for that. Die, you rat. Ugly swine. Oh, that's wonderful. And <laughs> his eye falls out. That's just great. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. We have the fake eye. And that's where I quit here. Thanks a lot, guys. I picked up $30,000 from him and everything else that's in there. And you guys have a good day. That's my run through on uh, level one. And it's a pro level. And I hope you liked it. Um, I may play some more if anybody wants me to, or, or asks me to, rather. Other than that, I think I'm uh, done for now. You guys have a good day out there. And good luck.